Due to the nature of building a custom computer, you may find compatibility issues with the following parts list. Today I'm here with the latest in my computer build series. Today focusing on a computer that is focused on serious 1080p gaming performance at the $900 price point. To begin with, we will be using the Intel Core i5-2500K CPU. Don't let the i5 branding fool you, this is a serious performer for gaming. It is a quad core processor clocked at 3.3 GHz, however just like the 2600K you can easily overclock it to 4 GHz and above. For $220 this will be a great core for your build. For a motherboard, we will be using a Gigabyte GA Z68 XP UD3. As a Z68 board, it features support for Intel's quick response SSD caching, SATA 3 and USB 3 ports, as well as Virtue for switching between the CPU graphics and your dedicated card. At $140 this will work great for our build. Moving on to the graphics card, we have the Sapphire Radeon 6870. This should be able to play nearly any game available today maxed at 1080p without a problem and also features a pair of DVI ports along with DisplayPort and HDMI. Coupled with a free copy of Deus Ex, it will work great for $155 after rebate. For memory, we'll be using 8GB of G-Skill Ripjaws RAM clocked at 1600MHz. The heat sinks aren't overly large and for $45 it's a great deal for plenty of RAM to run your build. Storage is taken care of with a 1TB Samsung Spinpoint F3 hard drive and an OCZ Vertex 60GB solid state drive. You have two options, you can either use the quick response SSD caching feature to automatically speed up your most used files on the 1TB drive or simply install Windows and your favorite apps on the SSD. Either way all your storage will be taken care of for $120. While a DVD burner is hardly necessary these days, it will still help install Windows in any disk based media you have, so we'll be using a Samsung CD DVD burner for $20. For the case, there is the Cooler Master Half 912. While certainly not an expensive case, it offers a lot of solid features including plenty of room for installing additional fans, easy access to the filters for cleaning, room for lots of hard drives, graphics cards, as well as a cage for installing a pair of 2.5 inch hard drives on the bottom of the case. My main bill is on a Half 912 and I highly recommend it for $60. The power supply for the build is a Thermaltake TR2 600W supply. While it's not modular, it will deliver enough power for your build including overclocking the CPU with headroom to spare for $55. Last but not least, we have a new copy of Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. If you want, you can install another version of Windows or Linux, but otherwise this will run $100. So overall, how did we do? As of September 8, 2011 on Newegg.com, the entire build will run $889.90. For this price, you'll be getting a rock solid gaming rig for under $900 that should be capable of playing all the big games that are coming out this year. Do keep in mind that prices are always fluctuating, so feel free to customize the build to your own liking. If you found this helpful, definitely be sure to leave a like rating, and if you want to be notified when I post a new video, be sure to subscribe.